Good morning, everyone. Flora Sage here. Yay! I'm coming you. I'm coming to you live from the Great White North. <laughs> Just kidding. It's not white yet. It was. We had some snow this this past weekend. On Friday it's cold today it's like 32 and it just started to snow a little bit there's a little bit of drizzle coming down but I was really guided to make a video this morning um, about change and about how when you change you have to allow other changes in your life and how if you want other changes to happen in your life you have to change <laughs> hence the title of this uh, with change comes change. Good morning, Betty. Yay! So, yes, I'm all bundled up um, and I have my sunglasses on because I have a freckle in my eye. And so my eye doctor said that I have to make sure that I wear my sunglasses um, all the time when I'm outside, even when I am, um, even when it's cloudy and whatnot. Okay, so change for the most part sucks. A lot of people really don't like change. A lot of people feel that change is the enemy I mean think about it think about your life think about how you many times like your routine you like your morning routine you like what you're doing during the day for the most part um, and then when something happens and throws off your routine people freak and it's only normal but what happens is we get used to the mundane we get used to putting up with the bullshit we get used to putting up with things that we don't like Good morning, Jojo. Good morning, Candace. And when we get used to putting up with the things that we don't like, um, it's challenging for us to make a change outside of that routine. Even though we might not like that routine, it's still what we're doing. It's still what we're choosing um, to partake in and to participate in. And so over the past several weeks to the, actually the past several months. Hi, Emily. Thank you. I love you too. <laughs> um, so over the past several weeks to several months, we've been talking about changing. We've been talking about if you were frozen in time, no pun intended, since it is literally 32 degrees out today. Um, if your life was frozen in time in this very moment, would you be happy? And I got an overwhelming response below that video and in emails and in private messages from people saying, oh hell no, I would not be happy with my life if it was frozen in time right now. Oh my God. And a lot of people were in kind of a state of panic saying, I don't want to live the rest of my life this way. What do I do? And it's actually quite simple. So often we think that we have to make a ginormous change in our life in order to see different results and that's not the case actually when you make a ginormous change and you take a, a 360 or a 180 and uh, what happens is that change usually does not last okay you usually go right back to where you were so the quickest easiest way to make a lasting change in your life is to just make one tiny tiny adjustment in your life so that's what I'm going to ask you about today. And again, and I know that we keep talking about this, but this is how major shifts happen in your life. This is how you can climb your Mount Everest. This is how you can achieve those seemingly impossible, unachievable things in your life is to do one thing different every day. It doesn't have to be a lot. One thing is like <laughs> one thing. That's it. It's like normally. So the one thing that I did different today than yesterday well, actually, no, I shouldn't say that because I went outside yesterday. So for like two days, for Friday and Saturday, I did not go outside because it was freaking cold. It was like 24 degrees one day and like, I don't know, 31 the next day. And I'm like, screw that. <laughs> well, actually, no, on Friday, I did go outside because I had, I had an appointment that I went to about an hour away. And... Um, but normally during the winter, I do not, I normally don't like winter. I normally am kind of a freeze baby. I'm like, ugh. But last year I was bound and determined to begin liking winter. Um, and so what I did was I got this fabulous jacket. It's freaking huge. It is, <laughs> it's an Eddie Bauer um, jacket that's good for like minus 40 degrees. And I'm like, I'm hell or high water. I'm going to learn to really love winter. And some people would be like, well, Flora, if you love being warm, if you love the tropics, yada, yada, why are you forcing yourself to like winter? 
Well, I like winter. I love four seasons. Love it. Now I want you to think about what you hate and what you love, okay? And one of the things I love is I, wa I love warm weather. I love, I love just, I love bikini lifestyle. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. I love my toes in the sand. I love the warm water. It's just, that's my heaven, okay? That is my heaven. But there's also something to be said about the stillness of winter, okay? And the stillness of the frozen tundra, if you will. And when I lived in Oklahoma and I lived in California and I lived in Okinawa um, and in South Africa, all the places that I lived, all the beautiful places that are tropical, all the beautiful places that have amazing weather, the thing that was missing was the change of season. And I'm very much earth-based in my spiritual practice. Um, I honor the new and full moon. I honor the, um, and that's also called an espot. And I also honor the sabbats, which are um, the, the uh, main celestial uh, markings of each year, such as the winter solstice, the summer solstice, and all that other stuff, to kind of put it in layman's terms. But basically, I like, I like every six weeks having that, that mark of distinction, of change, and of, of really allowing myself to recognize where I'm at and to check in with myself. And I didn't, I didn't get that when I was in Oklahoma. I didn't get that when I was in South Africa. None of the other stuff. You know, it's one of the things that's... When I'm up here, when I'm living in Wisconsin, first and foremost, I'm with my family, my entire family, my mom's side, my dad's side, my ancestral lineage, we're here. And there's just something to be said when you are with your people, you know? It's like, my people, yay! And they just get you, you know? Um, and it's just, just, anyway, it's just absolutely incredible. And so... When I was a kid, I loved winter. I would go out and I'd play forever and it was amazing. And then I'd come back in and my dad used to make hot chocolate on the wood stove in the basement and it was so good. And so it was like those little tiny rewards that happened um, after I would go outside. And the first year I lived up here, like literally, I think I went outside maybe 10 or 15 times during the entire winter. I was a hermit. <laughs> But, like I said, I don't like that. I love being outside. I love that when I go outside, I feel connected with nature. And this is what I, I'm sharing this story because I want you to think about what you love and, and, and how you thrive, how you feel, and, and, and what you do when you're feeling the best. Hang on, we've got some... Um, just a second. Emily says, thank you so much. I needed to hear this. You're so welcome. Holly says, I'm making a big move to Texas in two weeks. Major change with the unknown. Yay. I love it. Major changes are really good. Um, but you don't have to make major changes. You can just do tiny little incremental changes. Betty said, and honoring the earth and nature. Absolutely. Emily said, I absolutely love all the seasons. That's why Lake Erie is in my backyard. Woohoo! Or is your backyard. Absolutely. Hi, Gage. Yay, Steve says. Only recently have the seasons begun blurring in Oklahoma the last 20 years. Yeah, and when I lived there, it was, I mean, how I knew when it was spring was the frogs were out whenever I was walking my my dog. Um, it, that's how I would know the, the thing. Thomas says, you're skipping my comments. I didn't see any comments. I saw your good morning. Oh, any Halloween plans? Um, not really. I'm passing out candy and then doing um, kind of a short type, I guess, ritual is what you'd want to call it, um, with some friends. But um, nothing too major. So... Um, yeah, so how can you start to embrace change? How can you start to um, really give yourself permission to enjoy the changes? Because change, honestly, is the only, the only constant in our life. Nothing else stays the same. Nothing else stays the same. The only thing that stays the same is that change is going to happen. Change happens every day every single day. Yes, Steve says, frogs in the spring are my favorite. Yes, because you're like, yay, it's spring. <laughs> I love that. It's That was like the thing to look for is, oh, frogs, yay. And I remember one time 
when I was walking my dog and I saw a frog, I actually was like, oh, really? And I was actually kind of disappointed because I felt that it, there, there wasn't enough winter, which of course for me was like, really? No, let's get out of winter. But so think about the changes that you are um, thinking about, you know, allow yourself to um, really give yourself permission to just say, what do I hate in my life? What do I love? Angela says, which is, she was, she's my big sister. Yay. She said the bugs die too, <laughs> or they would be so big. Yes. There's those funny memes on, on Facebook that we see that, um, you know, this is why I live where, um, what is it called? This is why I live where the, the air hurts my face <laughs> when it's cold outside because all the bugs die. Yes. That's the one thing I'm very grateful and thankful for that I did not see out in public, like out in the real nature world. I did not see a tarantula when I was living in Oklahoma. Thank God I probably would have like died from fright. <laughs> anyway, so <laughs> it hurts to breathe. Yes, it does sometimes. <laughs> So um, think about what you hate in your life because that's showing you a contrast, okay? It's showing you a contrast of where you can grow, of where you can live. Uh, Lisa said, just turned cold in Switzerland, 48 today. Woo, burr. <laughs> yes. So think about what you love. Think about what you absolutely love and then think about what you absolutely hate. And those both of those things teach you something about yourself. They teach you something about how you can grow even more. Okay. I love warm weather. Oh my gosh. I love being in a bikini. I love being outside in the sun. I love the warm, uh, gentle breeze of sunshine. I love, um, all things summer, <laughs> all things summer, except for the bugs and the mosquitoes. But 